Finally this week, let's take a trip to the beautiful wetlands of Sussex with Marcella Whittingdale. So that's the chiff chaff. Oh, right. So chiff chaff, chiff chaff. Tweet tweet. It's almost, yeah. Very distinguishable. Yeah, it's definitely, you can't mistake it for anything else. It's really unique. Where water and land meet, wetlands are one of the most diverse habitats we have in the southeast. Woods Mill in Sussex is a wonderful example. So we've got brown trout, which is incredibly rare and something that's a kind of a flagship species in Sussex and the chalk streams that we've got here. And here on the site at Woods Mill, we've got stuff like great crested newt. We've got stuff like nightingale, and they rely heavily on aquatic insects to raise their young. As well as providing a unique environment for wildlife, wetland habitats help fight the cause and effect of climate change. Wetlands are hugely important in terms of us tackling the climate crisis. They store carbon. They also act as a sponge, storing that water when we get those really intense rainfall events and slowly let that percolate through the landscape during those drought conditions which in the southeast is incredibly important. While safeguarding what we already have, Sussex Wildlife Trust are among those working to generate more wetlands to ease the impacts of climate change. When there's heavy rainfall, natural meandering streams store more water, and no embankments means any excess easily spills out onto these fields, which soak it up and prevent flooding elsewhere, while also storing water for times of drought. So over 10 years ago, this was a completely flat field. So this stream has been created. So you're creating lots of different habitats, which is amazing for biodiversity. But also for us, it is more storage of water. So it's, the river itself can store more water. And if it rains, this is very waterlogged, is it here? Yeah, so during and after heavy rainfall, this will be completely underwater which is what it's meant to be doing. And because the water can span out here, it means it's not flooding out somewhere else downstream. And we just saw a kestrel. So the neighbouring habitats, we've got this kind of tussocky grassland on the floodplain, which is really good for the small mammals, which stuff like the kestrels, the barn owls, the tawny owls that we've got here on site are feeding on. There are calls for the government to push much harder for nature-based solutions like these. And with around 90% of UK wetlands degraded or damaged in the past century, that could only be to the benefit of nature, climate and future generations. Marcella Whittingdale with our report. Rachel, to you, I mean, climate change is going to bring a lot of 